welcome back to my channel I'm G if you're new welcome if you're not welcome back and I got a puppy I hope you guys can see her she's so cute her name is July she is a mini golden doodle she is a black all black a black beauty and I love her she's a new addition to our family she is nine weeks old and we did get her from a very reputable breeder um, that's close to our house in Maryland I'll have her link below we are really like overjoyed and excited and kind of sleep deprived a little bit just a little bit but she's so cute like I said her name is July my husband came up with that name because it's me and my son's birthdays are in July so he said it was our birthday gift so yeah this is she and I'm gonna put in just some clips of us sneeze I'm gonna put in some clips of us throughout the week like how we started when we first got her how it's been going but it's it's a lot of work having a puppy is having a puppy is not easy she wants to rest she's a sleepy head she's really like a baby like she sleeps all day long she probably sleeps like 18 hours of the day but I don't complain because when she sleeps I get to do things so yeah when we got her she she I would say she did pretty good at home like for the first hour or so she was just sniffing around trying to get like acclimated with everything that's going on in our house my son was kind of scared of her I'm not gonna lie he was a little like jumpy with her because she was excited and she was jumping up on him and he's not used to that like he's never been really around a dog for a long period of time so he was a little a little apprehensive at first but he's definitely come around like I said we probably had her for like five days and I feel like we're kind of adjusting well the only thing that is kind of throwing me off is being outside so much like I'm outside right now um, I have a nice size yard, so I have to take her out like every hour because that's how we're potty training her. We aren't using like really puppy pads for indoor potty training. We want her to go outside. So I take her outside like every hour or so, especially after she wakes up or after she eats. And she eats about three to four times a day. And I'm trying to get her on a schedule. Um, speaking of schedules, she wakes up at 530 every morning, like clockwork. And we have to jump up and take her out to pee it's it's a lot it's a lot but it's so worth it she's so cute and she is right now probably like five pounds or so if that but she's going to get up to 15 to 20 pounds so she's not a micro mini or a toy she's definitely a mini golden oh july she's definitely a mini golden doodle so she's going to get a little bit bigger but yeah, she's super cute right now, and she's a sweet girl. She really is. Like, when we, I've taken her out to the store. I just want to get her used to different environments and, like, people and dogs and things. So I've taken her to PetSmart a couple times. I took her to Target yesterday, and I bought, like, a little car seat for her. I can definitely, like, do a puppy must-haves or something like that. If you guys are interested in that, let me know in the comments, but... Yeah, we had got her toys before we had her, but those toys were too big, and we didn't really know what she needed. So when we got her, we realized she's teething. She is nipping at everybody's ankles and everybody's feet. So we had to buy her this, like, chew bone, and it's supposed to help her gums. She loves this. Like, she will go to town on this. It has little <laughs> dents in it from her biting it. She loves that. Not my hand. And her like nips don't hurt, but it's just a little annoying that she's like nip, nip, nip. So I've been trying to look up July. I've been trying to look up how to stop that. So we're still working on it. Like I said, she's pretty new to us. She's only been here for a couple days, so we're still learning her. But she's a sweetheart. She really is. I call her a sour patch because when she needs to be sweet, she's sweet. Like when we're out, she'll just lay in my arms or sit in her little car seat in the car and she just doesn't do anything she's so sweet but then at home she's rowdy <laughs> rowdy rowdy so yeah she's like a little sour patch but i love her she's so cuddly that's what i loved about the golden doodles they don't shed they're hypoallergenic and they're so soft and fluffy you do have to comb and brush them daily so that they won't mat but 
She's super cute. I love her. Yeah, aren't you super cute? Aren't you super cute? So, like I was saying, all about a schedule. So, she wakes up at 5.30. We put her down to sleep at like 10 or 11-ish, whenever we go to sleep. And we have her crate. She is getting a she is getting crate chained so we have her crate in our bedroom when we go to sleep right beside our bed and we just put her in the first couple of days she whined for like five minutes and then now she just goes in and lays down and goes to sleep she knows that it's for sleeping i think and she just goes to sleep so last night she actually slept for the entire night she woke up at 5 30. we went to sleep at like 11 she woke up at 5 30. normally she'll wake up at one or two in the morning and i have to like take her out to pee and bring her back in and we don't play we just go pee and come back in and go back to sleep and it, it's been working but last night she slept through the night so that's a good girl and i actually taught her how to sit today i'm not even going to show her on camera because i don't think she's going to do it we're still practicing she just learned but i've been like doing my research um this is my first time having my own dog i've my grandparents have had a dog when i was growing up but it wasn't really my dog i didn't have to take care of him but this is my first like real pet on my own so it is a little challenge i would definitely say it's easier than a newborn though babies are much more needier in my opinion you want your bone you want your bone so yeah like i said i'm gonna put in some clips of us just like day by day taking her out and yeah if you have any more like if you want to see any more puppy videos or puppy updates or must-haves or anything like that just let me know in the comments but yes welcome july pierre to my family she's so cute aren't you aren't you the cutest but yeah don't forget to like comment and subscribe and keep on watching so today is a special day we are adding to our family you have anything you want to say we're <laughs> on our way to pick up our mini golden doodle so um i don't really want to do too much talking until we just like get her and then get her situated at home yeah i'm really excited we have a new family member so you guys will see her soon we are on our way to get her so July is home and she's enjoying her toys and her mat and her water and food. She just slept for a whole hour and she's just getting a feel of everything. Hey girl. She is a sour patch. She's sweet and feisty. <laughs> I hope she doesn't beat up people and eat them. That's how she's doing because she ran and boom. I like her happy tail. I want her happy tail. I want her to wag her tail. So she can be happy. She's so cute though. Yeah. I, was, I just don't... I just her name don't. is July and she is nine weeks old. A mini golden doodle. All black. She is so beautiful. Look at her eyes. Oh, you wagging the toy. July, Samir, July. Samir. <laughs> so, it is day two with July. Um, it's like 6.30 in the morning, super early. She woke up in the middle of the night at 2. She went to sleep at like 10 something. She woke up at 2. I took her out and she peed immediately, which was great. She peed, we brought her back in, well I brought her back in and then she went back to sleep until like 5.30 and then we took her out and we've been up since 5.30. So it's not too bad, um, it's definitely much easier than a newborn baby to me. So we're just still kind of getting used to her and she's getting used to us but it's super fun. It's like a new adventure, like something that I've never done before. I've never had my own dog. I've lived with dogs. I've been around dogs, but I've never had to take care of my own dog. So it's super new. Um, my son is still getting used to her. He's more scared of her than she's scared of him. I don't know why he's so scared. He likes her when she sleeps. Like he likes to pet her when she sleeps, but when she's up, I think she's so energetic while he's around that it kind of scares him. 
Because every time she sees him, she like jumps for him. And yeah, so they're outside right now. I think she had to do number two. But we're just taking it day by day. Like I said, the we, she slept in a crate in our bedroom. So she cried for like five minutes and then she lay down. She's a little fussy when we first put her in. But like after a while, I think she just wears herself out. So yeah, here she is. Pee pee. Oh, did you get it up? I oh. Small little droplets. Hey, you went over She was crazy with the man. She is soaking wet. She I know. Dry. Oh, she's dirty. Yeah, she's dirty. Okay. July. Uh, over here. Over here. She hurt herself. I feel like. You want to take a picture? <laughs> take a picture by the picture. I wish you could sit still for a second. She was eating that damn grass. I know. She's been eating the grass the whole time. She don't get sick. I was trying to not let her do it. Is that my shoes? No, that's not. Chuck all over. That's when the curls come in when she wet. She's clumsy. She's clumsy? <laughs> she's a puppy. She's still learning. She's learning how to be big. And she's doing Okay, I'm checking back in and I'm on my phone. This is hard. <laughs> this is day two and this is a little overwhelming. Um, Yeah, I don't know. It's just not, I don't even know what I expected, but it's just a little overwhelming. That's all I'm going to say. And Samir's right here. Can you stop? How do you feel about July? I feel when she gets big, I, she's going to be like a leash. She's gonna be like a leash? Yeah. She like a leash because those leashes are big dogs. And she wouldn't be part of them. <sighs> oh, yeah. Trying to crate train her in my bedroom. And she, she only winds in the crate for like five minutes and then she's straight. So. I just needed a break. Oh, I needed a break. Taking her out every 30 minutes. It's hot outside. I mean, I know. I know this is what I signed up for. But when you just get into it, it's just a little overwhelming. And I just, maybe I'm sleep deprived. I said she woke up at 2 in the morning, then 5.30. And we've been up since 5.30. So I'm just a little, ooh, day two is beating me up a little bit. No, so it's day one. This is day two. Day one was yesterday. Day one was yesterday. Yeah, so. Day two. I mean, we love her. She's just feisty when she wants to. But if you look at her now, she just like a cute. laying here looking so cute. I will check back in again, but I'm just letting y'all know. I'm just a little in over my head right now. <laughs> help. Send help, please. I want to help. Hi, girl. So, uh, pup date. <laughs> It's a little later in the second day. We stopped at PetSmart. We actually took her with us. Uh, they recommended that we don't like let her walk around the store because of other dogs. She's not fully vaccinated. She's so black. <laughs> Can't even see her. But she's not fully vaccinated. She gets her second vaccine in three weeks. And then she'll be able to go around other dogs. So right now we just had to pick her up and hold her the whole time in the store. But we had to get her some new toys because the toys that we got before we got her, I think we're too big and she's teething. Like she'll nip at your feet and jump on you and try to like nip you. She's not trying to bite or anything. She just is teething. So she's trying to soothe her teeth and gums. So we got her this, I don't want to take it from her, but it's like a spiky bone, like a chew toy. She loves it. She's been on it all day ever since we got it. Yeah, it looks like this. And she loves this thing. She just goes to town on it. And I'm guessing that it's helping. So that's all that matters. She's not nipping at our feet anymore. Uh, she's pottied in the house a couple times. Uh, just now, actually, because I was trying to get her out, but I guess I was too late. So we were like really at the door about to go out and she went. So... I guess that's my fault, but 
she's really calm when she wants to be and i enjoy her calmness because we can just snuggle and cuddle up and she just goes to sleep look at her she's just so sweet but when she wants to play oh she wants to play ain't tired And I'm trying to put her on a schedule, so I want her to kind of go to bed around 10, 30, 11. So I'm probably going to try to take her out for one last pee, maybe in about like 30 minutes. And then I'm going to put her down. And like I said, she cries a little bit in the crate, but then she kind of calms herself. I think she just makes herself tired. And then she just goes to sleep. So we'll see how night number two goes. But yeah, today was a little rough. I think I was sleep deprived and just overwhelmed a little bit and then with my son being here and he's still adjusting it was it was just a lot it, it was a lot today but we managed we made it through so let's see how night number two goes and i will update you guys tomorrow good morning day three you can hear her in the back um last night was okay uh, I was kind of up late anyway, so I probably was up around like 12 a.m. And she needed to go out. I hope you can hear me. She needed to go out, so I took her out at 12, and then she slept until 5.30. Again, so I guess her um, wake-up time is 5.30. So, it is now 7. She's 8. She went outside. She had a lot of good fun, and now it's crate training time. So I'm not going to keep her in here long, just until I can like clean up the kitchen and stuff like that. But she hates it. Say hi, girl. Say hi. July. July. We just have her little crate right here. We brought it down from upstairs. And then this is her little food area. And I'll have to get like some storage stuff for her items. But I just have it in like this little container. And yeah, we plan on buying. We plan on buying like a little playpen so she can have her own area within the family room of our house. And she loves Samir. She just loves him. Say hi, Samir. That's how you say hi. But she's so stinking cute. All that fuss. She's such a cutie. And I bought this for her so that she can ride in the car. Something off Amazon. So it's like a little kind of dog car seat so this goes around the headrest and then that little hook attaches to her harness and then this strap goes around the front of the seat so we'll see how she likes it she's going to ride in the car today so i will give you guys an update but yeah day three i'm not as sleep deprived i think my body's getting used to waking up early again or earlier but she's just right here trying to get her ready for her crate training session. Okay. Hopefully, but I don't even know what day it is. Four, five, who knows? I feel like we've had her for like five months. <laughs> But she's just the cutest thing. And she's really doing good throughout the night. So I'm really happy about that. But she does wake up. July. July. But she does wake up at 530 every morning. <laughs> so she makes me an early bird. And I don't mind it. I don't mind it at all. So it is the morning later in the morning because she already went out earlier this morning and pooped and peed july she loves to go under the deck july come here girl away from there away from there
but she's super fast. She loves her mama though. Hi, girl. Hi, girlfriend. July. Under the deck. I don't know why. Don't even think about but it. it's getting easier, I guess. It's getting a little easier. We're just enjoying her. Like she's getting used to us and we're getting used to her. But when somebody says a puppy is hard work, they are not lying. Well, come on, doggy. 